KBZE, we're live catching up with Mr. Howard Kenshin and Mr. Kalen Davis, the quarterback and wide receiver for the Jags going into their second playoff game. We're going to hear from them and find out how they feel about tomorrow night's action. Uh, so, yeah, we're feeling pretty confident. We feel like we'll go down there and get a win. We just got to do our jobs to do what we got to do and play how we play. Um, it's just a good feeling. We we happy. We excited. You know, we've been talking about it all weekend. Walking around school, people talking about it. Um, we've been having hard practices, and yeah, just go out there and get a win. All right. So, what makes you two guys click? What makes you two guys produce on the field like y'all been doing? Well, it all started while wow, freshman year. Like we was getting really overlooked. So, like from that day forward, me and him was just been putting in work at the practice off seasons. He been coming to my house. He been doing a lot of workouts, and we just stayed click like that. Um, I'm gonna just say this. Um, he just helped me throughout the years. You know, freshman year, sophomore year. You know, he always gave me that confidence to keep on going. And as a freshman, I didn't really start as much. But my sophomore year, he told the coach to put me in, and I made plays. And that's what that's, that's it. All right, now, you two guys obviously have a whole other bunch of guys behind you. What makes your example of working with each other go so good that it rubs off onto everybody else on the team? Uh, basically, we just feel like we got to be the leaders because once we get going, we feel like everybody else go get going. They're going to start to get that motor to catch fire like we do. So we just got to show our team how it's done, basically. Um, just us doing good. They see that and they feel like we might have a chance since we're doing good, they'll do good too. And then it just carries on throughout the team, doing the seniors, going down to the freshmen. Y'all, um, well, obviously, your numbers are ranking really up there to the point that it's catching news in the state. Y'all receiving any calls outside of Patterson? Uh. Not too much. Like, we've been getting a little recognition on Twitter, but, like, not to where my satisfaction is. Not too much. Um, Like he said on Twitter, um, coach trying to help us out. Other coach is trying to help us out. And we just need to keep pushing. So what, what, what's your plans uh, uh, once you leave the pass? Um, to go play college football and go study something major. I don't know yet, but to play college football and try to make it to the leagues. Uh, same thing you're trying to do, but in the mix of I'm trying to own my own business. Uh, really, I plan on playing college football, but I also want to own my own business for a shelter home for the homeless. Kalen. What's one of Howard's biggest weaknesses and what's one of his greatest, 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 greatest things that he does? Uh, a weak, weakness? Right now, I could probably, I could probably say his knee. His knee? His weakness right now. But probably the hottest thing he could do, let me see, a deep third. A big D third. Um, I'm gonna have to think about this one. Um, his weaknesses. Um, I really, I really never thought about it like that. Um, maybe um, looking to one side of the field and just focusing on that side. And probably the biggest thing he got, I'm talking about. He keep pushing. Like he, he's like the head of the team. Like no matter what people see. 
He's going to block him off and do what he needs to do and get the job done. Give me some smack talk and some smack talk y'all got to bring them in the field. Uh, one thing I, I don't go, I don't, I'm not going down to lose. So like that's like a mindset. Like me and him, we just gotta do what we gotta do, and just bring it to him. Well, me, I, I love the trash talk kind of. Um, I mean, pretty much we go go over there and take over their home, come back with a victory. You know, coach got us a good meal going up there. We're going to go to Corral. Um, so we just gonna walk up in there and we go take it over. Uh, how how do you hope to to really bring the fire up there in Winfield? Man, just starting on putting the pads on, um, getting on the bus, have that motivation, give the team a speech, let them know what it is. This is a business trip, and we're going down to the win. And yeah. Yeah, I just heard you say the word business. Yes. Why do you call this game business? Because it's nothing more. It's, it's it's no playing around. We're going to do one thing and one thing only. We're going to win, and we're going to come back home, and we're going to celebrate with my team. Yeah, like he said, it's a business trip. There ain't no clowning. We're going down there to do what we got to do. Now, me, I don't plan on celebrating because, like, we got other rounds to go. It's still business. We got plenty of rounds to go to get to the championship. That's what we're planning on doing. A little bit back to the business. Talk a little bit about the work you all did during the summer to get you to this point. Uh, basically, we just had nine o'clock workouts. We did a lot of workouts, like college workouts. Uh, workouts is pretty tough, but I think it prepared us for the season, for us to do good and accomplish the things that we're doing now. Tell me a little bit about your diet, too. Oh, my diet. Uh, let me see. I eat two meals a day. I exercise. I work out a lot. Uh, I drink a gallon of water a day. Uh, well, I actually work out two times a day. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. No, no uh, Skittles or M&M's? Oh, yeah, I got to have a little bit of sweets. Uh, um, just, let me talk about my diet. Yeah, um, yeah, the work you did during the summer. Um, just working out, running, uh, getting in shape for the season. Um, How many miles a day you run? Honestly, I think about four miles, four miles a day. Stay in shape. I'll probably run about one mile out, yeah. Um, in my diet, I have some sweets in it now, but it's really just milk, apple juice, drinking water, salads, and chicken, really. So. All right. What's the message you got to, you know, somebody younger than you who wants to play high school football? It don't matter how small you is. Um, just keep pushing and just – don't listen when nobody say. Just keep on pushing, and just keep working, and you go get that one day. Man, if you feel like football is your way out, is your ticket your way out, man, don't play with it. You can come here and do what you gotta do, and get ready for the next level. One more hot seat question: Beyonce or Rihanna? Oh, I can't see. I, I can't see too much. I got a girlfriend, but if I had the tools, uh, that'd be Beyonce. And she got a beautiful voice. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna say Beyonce because Beyonce, she's very fine. Um, and yeah, she she's very pretty. Rice dressing or cornbread dressing? Ooh. I, mean, I gotta go with the cornbread dressing. It, it's just the, the texture of it. The texture. It is good. All right. I'm going with the cornbread. You know, the cornbread. Cornbread, very good. All right. Cranberry sauce or green beans? Oh, I don't, I don't, none of them. I don't, I don't like green beans or cranberry sauce. 
Mac and cheese or sweet potatoes? Oh yeah, that's good. That's good right there. Um, I don't know, like a move. I see mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Yeah, hold on, that's kind of tough. Uh, man, now people be cooking the same thing. It, it depends who cook it though. But I'm gonna have to go a sweet potatoes. Since we're going to be talking with Coach Garrett next, tell us w what's been the couple things that he said to you that's motivated you this year. Uh, basically, we talked about, you know, coming to practice, leading the team. You know, you got to play with a high motor at practice. Everything got to be a run-through. We don't do walk-throughs. It's, it's a run-through. Everything got to be efficient. We got to be hitting on all cylinders. I'm really just preaching to us every day and just tell us keep going, keep going no matter how hard it is and that we just got to keep on putting in work. All right, that's the man, the man that has turned this program around, Coach Garrett Kramer, head football coach of the Jacks. He's turned this program, which, you know, at one time was just had, had all the spotlights on it. Then the lights faded, but now they're back. And uh, he's going to tell us, how we did it. First and foremost, it's our players. You know, they're they're buying into what we're what we're preaching every single day. They show up to practice, work hard, and we've got some big time players that are just making plays for us right now. And uh, you know, I love my staff. Our staff is doing a great job of rallying the troops, getting them them getting them to uh, prepared to play every single week. So that's all it is. It's no secret. It's just hard work and execution. And uh, we just continue to take it day by day and be the best we can. All right. I know you're being modest, but, you know, I got grandchildren about the same age as these players here. What message do you give to a, a student or, or a young man at this day and age that motivates him? Well, lately I've been telling them to keep their head down. Don't let, uh, you know, any of the spotlight get to them. Just stay humble like they've always been. Keep working hard. And, you know, if they do that, then then all the accolades that are coming along with this, you know, we'll see where, it, you know, where the chips fall at the end of the season. Uh, so I just tell them to keep their head down, stay humble, and just keep working. Did you, uh, did you think you'd be at uh, this point uh, in the season? I certainly thought we had a chance. You know, we've got a talented team. Uh, these two guys have been leading us all season long. Uh, so I, I knew we had a chance. Uh, I like the way things are coming together. Uh, I, I, so I'm just really proud of our team, the way they've bought in and come together. And uh, everything they're doing right now, we just got to continue to take it day by day. Got a big playoff uh, game tomorrow at Winfield. So uh, we're going to go up there and play our best game. Is everybody healthy? Everybody's healthy for the most part. We got a couple nicks and bruises, but nothing that should be a serious concern. So we, we've been pretty lucky uh, as of lately to avoid the injury bug. Just like to say a big thanks to our staff and our team. I can't I can't uh, say enough about them, how much they've come together, uh, all the work they've put in, and, and what we're doing now. It's just it's a family. I'm really starting to fall in love with this team, the senior class, all the, all they've done. Uh, so I just I just very grateful for this team and the work they've put in.